Hi, this is Vicki with The Paper Connection. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator in the United States and I'm going to make a beautiful card for you. I'm actually going to show you how I made this card. It's so pretty. I used the Daisy Punch, um, but I'm using the Perennial Essence um, designer series paper and for the stamp set I'm going to use beautiful promenade it does have some beautiful flowers in it but for ease sake I'm going to use the daisy punch um, but the thing I do love about this is that it has such wonderful sentiments so um, I am going to go ahead and get started playing so I brought in some scrap paper and I'm going to put this aside I'm going to place this right about here without gluing it first just to kind of get a placement then I'm going to bring in pear pizzazz and my little leaf set and just start stamping leaves all over the place and I'm okay with going off the page it's nice to rotate your your paper rather than rotating your wrist There we go. Put that aside. Then I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to stamp your stronger than most on this little piece of pear pizzazz. I'm going to do it a little bit over here to the outer corner. There we go. And I'll go ahead and do the inside as well. And I'm going to stamp praying that this difficult road leads you to a beautiful destination. Isn't that beautiful? I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. You can see how pretty the back side is. So pretty. Let's see. I think I'll do it like this. just want to make sure that my margins around around it are fairly even go ahead and glue this down I hate to go across that beautiful flower so so pretty okay now I'm going to bring in some scrap paper along with my Daisy Lane punch and I'm going to cut out four different flowers because I want it to be really full I'm going to give you a little hint about this um, when you get ready to take it out you have to be um, very careful and um, pull it straight out there we go so I'm actually going to go very careful and level punch it again if, if you don't if you get any kind of curve to it like I almost did just then it will get caught up on those little pieces right there there we go one more then I'm going to cut out two sets of leaves from the pear pizzazz them off to the side and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use snail to put these together so I'm just going to put a little bit here and then layer this on top it's okay if it's not perfect because I'm going to do four layers total oops there we go I wanted it to be a really full flower okay then I'm going to take my daffodil delight and just kind of go in the center take the darker one And then just kind of blend that in
Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the um, gold faceted gem and just kind of place it right there on top. Whoops. There we go. And some Wink of Stella. And just kind of go around that middle area there to bling it up just a little bit. I'm also going to do that with my leaves as well. I want to add a little bit of glitter to that. Then I'm going to take my bone folder and I'm going to kind of just shape these. Some will go forward and some will go backwards, just as a, a real flower would do. There's not, I mean, it, real flowers are not going to be perfectly symmetrical. Oh, I love how that turned out. Okay, this, the glue on this, just not quite wanting to stick on that alcohol base, so I'm just put a little bit of glue on the back of it and drop it down and it'll stick this time. I used Tombow on the back of it earlier on, on this other card because I didn't, because of how large that gem is, I didn't want it to stand up too high on the card and have trouble going through the mail. So we're just going to go ahead and place that down. Just hold it down for a second. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue these as well. Pardon the looks of my thumb. Um, it's growing back out after I nearly cut it off, the tip of my thumb off. So it's kind of yucky looking. My nails are usually all polished and all that, but it's it was it cut off so short that I'm having to let it grow back out. There we go. Man, that looks good. Okay, and then we're going to just go ahead and glue this onto the front of our card. Those colors are so pretty together. And um, they were actually actually suggested on the back of the pack of paper. On the back of the DSP, it will have a list of the different colors that will go with the pack of paper. And so it um, makes it really easy that way. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some embellishments to it. So I'm just going to add some pearl drops here and there. I think that just makes it so pretty. And then I'll put this on the inside. Isn't that a beautiful card? I am so happy with that, with both of them. Um, and I just wanted to share that with you today. If you liked this video and if you liked these cards, um, please feel free to click the subscribe button and ring the little bell and you'll get notice of when I have other videos that are coming out. Um, I, you can also follow me on Facebook. My Facebook page is The Paper Connection. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you have a great day.